Hi, this is Brandon with Precision Defensive Solutions. And I'm Stephanie. And Steph's got something new on the table here. Yes, I have a new purse. Um, like most women, we carry purses because, well, we need to carry stuff and our pockets aren't big enough. <laughs> and most women's pants don't have the thousands of pockets that guys' pants do. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and the carry purse that I had, I had for several years. And yeah, we're we're not going to show a picture of that because, um, yeah, I, I sort of beat it into the ground, which I do with all my purses. So I don't spend bunches and bunches of money on purses because I am hard on purses. They're meant to carry stuff in. And so it's taken me a long time to find a purse that was a carry purse that didn't look like a carry purse. And I know there are ladies out there who are shaking their heads saying, uh-huh, because I am a school teacher. And if I were to go into my school with some of the purses out there, I would get laughed out of my building. And we'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. So, the purse I have today, it is called the Jessica Satchel and Crossbody mm -hmm. by Lady Conceal. And if you look at this purse, it does not look like a carry purse. It looks like a normal, everyday purse. It's a little bit bigger than my current purse. Like a little bit taller. But that's okay, because my other purse... Sometimes stuff falls out when I pick it up or I have to reach over and my purse is on my shoulder because I forget to zip the middle section. So I, I think I'm going to like this bag. The one thing, and I'll show you all the inside goodies in a sec. The one thing I don't like and I will be changing about it is the holster because I love the fact that where you conceal the firearm is in the back. So then if you carry it in the front, no one ever knows that you have a firearm. It goes either here or here, your preference. I also like the fact that you can lock the zipper. I probably won't lock the zipper. Yeah, you never have. No, but I like having that option. I might depending where we're going. Mm -hmm certain situations if my purse is in or <laughs> my firearm is in my purse and my purse is not on me i will mm -hmm. lock it up but this is a holster as i drop it on the table that they expect me to put a firearm in and then put it in my purse this is a blue gun or black gun yep. and it's supposed to go I believe like this and then put it into the purse and I'm coordinated not you can say well, something and, and I, I think that one of the things about that holster is it really doesn't cover the trigger well no and I'm not even sure I'm doing yeah. it right yeah, I, th I think that's, if it doesn't cover the trigger well, um, that, that's kind of a no-go. So I do have the holster from my other purse. Yes, that's how it's supposed to be, it's like this. Mm -hmm. Which then causes you to have to put the holster in at a very strange angle. Yeah, so it, it, it's kind of one of those cases that if you... If you would draw that out and have to store the gun, lock it up in the car, like you do as a school teacher, you can't carry it in the building, mm -hmm. that could be rather dangerous. Correct. So I will take the holster that I have in my other purse and put it in here. I might have to help that holster out because it is a old holster. I've taken it from other purses mm -hmm. and put it in here. But ladies if you're looking for a carry purse you want to check out that holster you want it to be plastic 
you don't want it to be just fabric and Velcro. You still want it to have some retention. You're not going to find, unless you specifically buy a holster, say like from Crossbreeds holsters, and then put it in, that's made specifically for your firearm, in a purse. They're going to have a generic holster. Mm -hmm. But what I do like is I love all the pockets. I will put keys in here. There's pockets that I can put pens in on the side and hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. And the best part is there's more pockets on the inside. <laughs> pockets and pockets and pockets. Look at that. And the best part is there's a pocket to put your cell phone in. And I know we're talking about a carry purse, but you still need to be able to get to your phone, especially yep. in an emergency. And I tend to just throw my purse or throw my phone in my purse and it, it gets lost in the abyss. <laughs> yep. Well, one of the things that's sticking out to me are, are the, the hooks with the straps because I know that with your other purses, it always wore down on the loop of the strap because mm -hmm. it didn't have that reinforcement and that reinforcement looks like it's going to hold up really well. Yes, and you can carry it like this. You can carry it over your shoulder and depending on how thick your clothing is, you could even carry it this way over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Obviously right now I won't be able to because it's winter and I have a thick winter coat. So I will definitely keep this strap on. But the strap's easy enough to come off. Mm -hmm. And this is good quality leather. Yeah, it's definitely not a, a, a pleather purse. No. And for the price, this is, I think it, it's like $85, $90. It's more money than I used to spend on a purse. But this will last me several years. And I will come back later and give you an update on how I actually like the purse because I haven't put anything in it yet. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on this for a while and you haven't switched over, but where'd you get it? I got this from countrydriven.com. Um, I really like their website. I like their customer service. They've been very helpful. And I do look forward to actually using this when I go back into my school building. Mm -hmm. So there, there will be a link in the description to their, to their website. So look forward to doing part two. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye.